On Wednesday, the National Environment Management Authority NEMA announced tough penalties to people for only polluting or in any other way destroying or endangering the environment. It's a criminal offense to drive your car without a dustbin. If we get you, we shall give you an invoice depending on the circumstance of up to 6 million Uganda shillings. However, the environmentalists are concerned that NEMA risks pushing many Ugandans into jail if they go ahead to implement them. My take at them is that they look to be very exorbitant, but they have no option because it's not within their means. They actually have to be in prison. So either way, you're not achieving anything. You're not achieving behavior change. You're not achieving the punitive action on, on, uh, on somebody's mind. Let them go and remove the, those uh, houses in Gaba. Those nice houses built in uh, Lake Victoria. Let them remove them and we see, yes. Do you know uh, those belong to unattachables in government? And people with big, big money. So we won't see the police demolishing those houses. Can they? Frank Kamuramuzi of the National Association of Professional Environmentalists, NAPE, says even though he agrees with the move by NEMA to take action against the degraders, it's likely to encourage corruption within the traffic police because they are too high. The guidelines are good, but they will only target uh, soft targets, the, 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 the smaller fish, the big fish, no. And the big fish are the polluters of the environment. Have they created a baseline, for example, to say, okay, if somebody is going to be penalized, if somebody is going to be prosecuted, uh, then they are against a certain baseline. However, for the express penalty scheme to take into force, the Minister of Environment would have to issue a statutory instrument to guide its implementation. The police would have to issue special codes for the express penalties before traffic officers can start using them. Section 174, which basically gives a mandate to, to the minister, to the authority with approval of the minister, to prescribe express penal, an, an express penalty scheme and, and, and of course have it implemented. However, the executive director of the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, Dr. Barirega Akankwasa, cautioned the Ugandans who still think NEMA is fooling them. And by the way, if you want to test it, you test it so that we start on you and we see whether it works. You know there is a saying that the law is always sleeping until it gets you. So it can appear like a joke, but it is not a joke, I can assure you. In Rwanda, even if you are a minister, even a vice president, and you go and erect a building in a wetland, you'll be arrested there and then. The environmental lawyer Moses Mugimba says the move will also require the judiciary to establish a special division in the courts of law to handle environmental related cases. Then you'd have to actually see a surge, a surge of you know, clear environmental related matters. And that would actually call, in my opinion, for saying that maybe it's high time that the judiciary, if it hasn't thought about it at all, to opt out also think at its end and say, okay, maybe they would need a standalone division. The Uganda Muslim Supreme Council has also responded to Neymar's warning over noise pollution. Any encroachment of that will be an encroachment of our freedom of worship. That one is uh, something that is not achievable. You need to go to Nakasero or Saint Church, my church where you go. When they are uh, singing, it is so loud. It is near the state house. The environmentalists believe Nema would have to sensitize the Ugandans before coming up to implement the penalties. Jingo Francis. NTV.